guys, I'm here to teach you today how to network the right way. Have you ever received one of those messages from a Facebook friend saying, hey, buy my product from X, Y, and Z company. Let me know if you're interested. Come on, really? You don't wanna be one of those kind of people. Let me just tell you, that is the way not to network. Before I got into network marketing, I was a financial advisor and I am an ambassador for the City Chamber of Commerce and I am very well acquainted with networking and meeting people, especially business owners, going to a lot of networking mixers and getting my name out there without pushing a product or pushing my company on other people. So how do you network on Facebook? Well, that's super easy. First, what you wanna do is you wanna start commenting on their posts and their photos. Not just liking it, but also putting comments. This is gonna help your posts be seen on their newsfeed as well as building that algorithm in a relationship between both of you online. You should also send them a private message asking about how their lives are, catching up, maybe comment on a post that you saw. Maybe they just got a new dog or they bought a new house or had a new baby or had a birthday. You can always send them a private message asking them, hey, I just saw that you posted about your new house. I haven't heard from you in a long time, congratulations. Because chances are, if you're friends on Facebook, you've already met in person and you've already kind of had a pre-existing relationship, even if it's just an acquaintance. When messaging on Facebook, you should never try to sell somebody. You should never even have to try to sell. Just ask them questions about them and ask them how their life is doing and what's been going on, how their job is, and eventually they're going to be asking you the same things in return. This is your opportunity to talk about your business. I would just keep it short and sweet, give them just a little taste of information, but keep them curious and wanting to know more. So don't reveal too much. Now there's another kind of networking, and this is a networking in person. Face-to-face -face networking is much different than online networking. Maybe you are at a networking event, or even you're at work or doing some errands, maybe at the grocery store, and you run into someone who you want to try to network with. Set up a coffee or lunch to meet with them and talk with them and really get to know them. You want to ask them questions about them. If they own a business, you wanna ask them questions about them and how you can help them. Never make the conversation about yourself because people like to talk about themselves. And if you're trying to sell someone something, it's not going to work, especially someone you just met. You also never wanna come off as desperate. People can sense this about you if you're desperate for sales or you're desperate for someone joining your team. People can sense this about you. Key to networking is that you want someone to think about you when it comes to your business. For example, when people think of clothing, I want them to think about me. I want my name to pop into their head when they think about clothes. When they think, oh, I need a new outfit for this wedding I'm going to, or my birthday's coming up and I'm just looking for a really cute outfit. I want them to think of, hey, you know, Michelle sells clothes. Maybe I should hit her up and see what she has available. But the key to this is just being genuine and being a person, not a salesperson. You wanna build a friendship with them. You want them to get to know you, to trust you, and you want them to like you because people buy from you because they like you, they know you, and they trust you. It's hard to sell to someone who's new and doesn't really know you if you're coming off as a salesperson. You should be a believer in the product that you're selling. For example, for me, I sell clothing. So I am going to wear my clothes everywhere I go. In my social media posts, I'm gonna wear a really cute outfit and post a picture in it. And it might not even be a business-related post. It might just be me hanging out with my family. 
on vacation dressed up very cute and then people will compliment you like, oh my gosh, I love that dress. I love that outfit you're wearing. And this is your opportunity to say, thank you so much for your compliment. Did you know that I actually sell this dress? If you want it and you're interested, I can show you what's available in your size. You have to be a believer in the product you're selling, otherwise you're never going to be able to sell a product in your life. Put yourself out there. You can't really network with people if you're just cooped up in your house all day long and you don't talk to a single soul. When you're out and about, try to strike a, a conversation with people. Try to compliment somebody. Try looking up some networking events in your city or in your area. You can look them up on Facebook events, on meetup.com. There's a lot of networking groups and mixers out there. Some that you do have to pay for and some that are completely free. I would suggest that you check out your local chamber of commerce and see how you can get involved. Networking is just all about building friendships with other people. Really, it just comes down to a matter of timing. Maybe someone's not going to buy from you right away or join your team right away, but maybe over time, they will. The more you share about your life in a non-salesy way, the more people will be attracted to you. The more you post about your accomplishments and how your life has changed and how your business is changing your life or how a certain product is changing your life, people will want to ask you about it. People love to share what they love and people love to hear stories. So you just gotta get your story out there. I hope this video helps with your networking and Best of luck, my babes. Until next time.